we will see some misconceptions and common mistakes related to the comparison of fractions. Misconception 1. Rahul has 2 and 1 fourth meter long rope and Naresh has a 10 by 4 meter long rope. Who has the longer rope? Sometimes it is misunderstood that mixed fraction is greater than improper fraction because it contains one or more than one whole parts. Due to this misconception, it is understood that Rahul has the longer rope. This is an incorrect understanding. To find the longer rope, we have to compare 2 and 1 fourth meter and 10 by 4 meter. In order to do this, we have to either convert 2 and 1 fourth into an improper fraction or we have to convert 10 by 4 into a mixed fraction. Here, we will convert 2 and 1 fourth into an improper fraction. To do so, we will keep the denominator as it is and we multiply the whole number 2 with the denominator 4 and add the numerator 1 to it. And then we write the result in the place of the numerator. So the fraction will become 9 by 4. Now we will compare it with 10 by 4. Since the denominators are equal here, we will compare the numerators 10 and 9. Therefore, 10 by 4 is greater than 9 by 4. That means Naresh has the longer rope. Misconception 2. One day Manish was comparing the fractions 4 by 5 and 7 by 9. According to him, the fraction 4 by 5 is smaller than 7 by 9. Is his answer correct? Sometimes, denominators are ignored and it is understood that the fraction with the smaller numerator is small. Here, the numerator 4 is smaller than the numerator 7. Therefore, the fraction 4 by 5 is considered to be smaller than 7 by 9 and option 1 is the chosen answer. This is incorrect. Here, since neither numerators nor denominators are equal, we will have to make the denominators equal. That means, we need to make the shape of the parts equal. We will do this by using LCM. The LCM of 5 and 9 is 45. To make the denominator of 4 by 5 is 45, we multiply the numerator and denominator by 9 to get 36 by 45. Similarly, in order to make the denominator of 7 by 9 equal, we multiply the numerator and denominator by 5 to get 35 by 45. Since 35 by 45 is smaller than 36 by 45, 7 by 9 is smaller than 4 by 5. Hence, Manish's answer is incorrect and he chooses option 2. You can also make a strip of fractions to find the smaller fraction. Here, this strip is divided into 5 equal parts where the 4 parts represent the fraction 4 by 5. Similarly, this strip is divided into 9 equal parts where 7 parts represent the fraction 7 by 9. If we compare these strips, we can see that the strip representing the fraction 7 by 9 is smaller than the strip representing the fraction 4 by 5. Therefore, the fraction 7 by 9 is smaller than 4 by 5. Now let's see some common mistakes that occur during the comparison of fractions. Often, it is remembered that the fraction with the smaller denominator is the larger fraction. With this understanding, the numerators of 1 by 5 and 8 by 10 are ignored and by comparing the denominators, it is understood that 1 by 5 is a bigger fraction than 8 by 10. This is incorrect. By looking at the strips that represent the fraction 1 by 5 and 8 by 10, you can clearly see that the fraction 1 by 5 is smaller than 8 by 10. Sometimes it is ignored to keep the wholes equal. For example, while comparing 2 by 6 and 1 by 4, the wholes are not marked equally. In such situations, by looking at the shaded part, students consider the fraction 1 by 4 is greater than 2 by 6. This is an incorrect understanding. The correct understanding is to make their parts by keeping the wholes equal and then comparing them. By doing so, we get the correct answer 1 by 4 is smaller than 2 by 6. Today, we saw a few misconceptions and common mistakes related to the comparison of fractions.